here to talk to you today about pump recirculation to homogenize drums of slurry prior to their use. I'll talk to you today about some of the different dip tubes and dispense heads that are available in the market, the pros and cons behind them, and some of the criteria that we use when we make recommendations about what type of configuration we recommend for our slurry. Part of the work that we do here at Cabot Microelectronics is going through and evaluating the slurries that we manufacture to determine how they need to be treated prior to use. In some cases, a slurry with a very heavy solids are going to need mechanical agitation in order to re resuspend those solids prior to use. In other cases, where we just see stratification of the abrasives, we can get away with pump recirculation, which is less manually intensive and is accomplished using dip tubes and dispense heads. We're talking about pump recirculation of the drum, and what, what that entails is taking the slurry that may have settled or stratified over time and homogenizing it so every batch of slurry that's pulled out of the drum is uniform in solids concentration and chemistry concentration for every single mixed batch that's gonna be produced with it. In order to do this, you need to connect the drum to the distribution system, and the way that that's accomplished is using a drum insert or a dip tube and an attachment, which is called the dispense head. The dispense head remains permanently connected to the distribution system, whereas the drum insert or dip tube is inserted and removed from the drums as they're put on to and taken off of the distribution system. So different types of slurries are gonna require a different type of recirculation in order to make sure that we don't have any issues. Uh, some slurries are simply stratified where we have a higher solids concentration at the bottom and a lower solids concentration at the top. And other slurries have heavier settling or possibly foaming, which you have to take into account when you set the correct configuration for doing the pump recirculation. Um, it's important to note that dip tubes are going to extend all the way to the bottom of the drum. So if the slurry is not pre-mixed correctly, your first slurry batches pulled from the drum are gonna be high in solids, and as the drum empties itself out, the solids will get progressively lower. That'll give you a sawtooth in your solids concentration as drums are put on and taken off. You wanna try and avoid that because that can give you process interruptions or variations in your polishing. So, the different types of dispense heads and dip tubes that we have in the industry, really there are three main ones right now um, that we have a lot of experience with. Those would be the AS Honeywell, Integris, and Container Technologies. Now, these come in different designs to be used with different types of slurries. The last thing I wanted to discuss about dip tubes and dispense heads um, was the design of the valves that are associated with the dispense heads. Um, some dispense heads have internal back check valves, which prevent slurry from flowing out at when the dispense head's removed. Some of them have manual valves that can be used, and some do not have a valve inside the dispense head that shuts off the return flow. So you can put one on externally as well. It's important that these valves do not contribute a large amount of shear to the slurry. Again, the recirculation is only to homogenize the abrasive in the drum, not to cause it any shear or to change its, the characteristics of the particle. 